G'day guys, how you doing? Well I've got beautiful clear skies tonight, but a full moon. So I'm not going to be continuing on with uh, Project Orion, but uh, I think it'll be a perfect chance to explain the little ZWO ASI Air and how it works with the Celestron and CGEM mount. Um, there are a couple of uh, small little things that need to be uh, done through my experiences. may not be through um, anyone else's experience if you've got a ZWO ASI Air and you're using it with a CGEM mount. Um, but I just want to explain uh, explain all that and uh, and show you how um, how easy uh, it is to use and, and how much I really enjoy shooting with the uh, ZWO ASI Air. All right, so here's the business end, the ZWO ASI Air. Now, as you can see, I've got one cable here that runs into the side, which is my power cable. Okay. And then on the back here, I've got three USB connections running into it. Now, it does support up to four USB connectors in the back here. One of them heads up to my guide scope. The other one heads up to my main camera. And then I've got a third one, which goes down and plugs into the bottom of the hand controller. Okay, so let's go and check that out. And my hand controller is the old Celestron CGEM original with the um, phone plug um, style connector it's not a it's not one of the newer ones that has a, a USB connector in the back so the ZWO ASIA does work with the older um, hand controllers so you don't have to go out and buy a brand new one with the USB connector okay um, that's something I thought you had to do but you don't need to all right now in order to get the um, this here hand controller connected to the USB controller up there in the um, ASI Air is you need this little cable right here so it's an RS232 to phone plug type style uh, connector I'm not too sure just um, check out the Celestron um, website and uh, just type in Celestron RS232 cable and you should be able to see this um, product here rock up so what you do you just plug it in tighten it up I don't want it to um, disconnect throughout the night. And then once I've done that, get my hand controller, and I just plug this end here into the bottom of the hand controller, and I'm good to go. So my hand controller is now connected up to the uh, ASI Air. All right, so it's dark enough now to fire up the ASI Air and the mount. And the very first thing I do is I set up my hand controller. One of the things I found over time is to set up the hand controller before getting into the ZWR ASI app um, on my iPad. Now all I'm going to do here is hit enter and it's asking me to make sure my index markers are correct, which they are. So I'm going to hit enter again and now I'm just going to put in the time. And the time is approximately 9.25. Um, at night. Enter PM daylight savings here in Australia at the moment. Um, the date, so it is the 10th of December. Hit enter and I'm just going to go down to quick align all right? because we don't want to start any sort of other um, star alignment or anything like that. We just want quick align and now it's saying CGEM's ready. So now I'm going to enter into the um, ASI Air app on my iPad. What I'm going to do is open up my ASI Air and I can see that I've got my main camera, my guide scope, the focal lengths of the two, my mount, which is a Celestron Next uh, Advanced GD. Okay, and I'm just going to hit enter. Alright. Now I'm ready to begin my polar alignment. Okay, now to do so, what you do is you click on the uh, PA over here, it could be focus, preview, auto run, and select the polar alignments. Alright, now it's just asking me to make sure everything's all connected, and as soon as that's all done, I'm just going to hit this play button. Now what it's doing is it's just taking a quick photograph and play solving. So it took three seconds to do. Now what it wants to do is it wants to rotate 
the um, RA axis to 60 degrees and begin the uh, polar alignment adjustments. So I'm going to click next and now the mount So as you can see, the next step now is for me to um, adjust my mount. All right, and all I need to do is get this little yellow crosshair into the um, target area, and it's that simple. All right, so after playing around with the uh, mount and adjusting the um, altitude and azimuth mount uh, knobs there, I'm um, pretty happy with uh, how my polar alignment is. So I'm just going to click finish. And it gives you some nice pretty fireworks. So once that's all done, um, I'm ready to start imaging. It's taken me um, almost eight minutes. So that's uh, to me it's a lot quicker than a three-star alignment and then doing the uh, polar alignment on the um, mount uh, software itself. So that there is basically how easy it is to use the ZWA. Yeah, so, yeah. Polar alignment connect up to a gear and now I'm pretty much away imaging so um yeah I, uh, I absolutely love the system um, the fact that I can control everything in the comfort of my home or the car or wherever I am imaging um, just helps out so much and the fact that I don't have all these cables everywhere with laptops and, and all that I've just got my, my iPad you know it's been absolutely fantastic um, if you guys uh, have enjoyed this um, video, uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, or if there's any uh, questions you want to ask about this system here, um, feel free to ask away guys. Alright, well, until next time, take it easy. See ya.